I couldn't even find the place. <laughs> I'll hold you in contempt. I'll hold you in contempt. I'll hold you in, in contempt. You know what? You're right. I think it is that second one. It's nice. Oh, sir, it's time. Oh. All rise. The Honorable Judge Bob Matador is presiding. Please be seated. Okay, let's get right into it, because I think I left the stove on at home. All right, we have attorneys Greg Fillmore and Richard Starr, and attorney John Teller, representing Rutger Stanislavski and the offices of Belinda, Melinda, and Linda. Oh, that's uh, Linda, Melinda, Belinda, Your Honor. That's what I said. No, you said uh, Belinda, Melinda, Linda. It's Linda, Melinda, Belinda. Linda, Belinda, Melinda? Linda, Melinda, Belinda. Ah, I see. Linda, Belinda, Melinda. Linda, Melinda, Belinda. Of course. Thank you for the correction. Counselors, your opening statements. Ladies and gentlemen, my client has been accused of a lot of things. Murder, sexual assault, kidnapping a Starbucks employee, treason, you name it. Actually, if you were to try him for any of these crimes, chances are he's probably guilty. There's a lot of evidence to support it. But today, he is on trial for unpaid parking tickets. So my question to the jury is this. Is this really that big of a deal? 175 unpaid parking tickets is inexcusable and borders on negligence. First of all, I don't even know what negligence means. I'm pretty sure, I'm 30% sure it is a made up word which only proves the, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Incompetence. Incompetence of the prosecution. Mr. Teller's client got a parking ticket this morning outside of the courthouse. I'm starting to think that he just can't read. Which goes along with one of my suggestions uh, that I will further go into detail later about, that your client go, re goes through grade school similar to the 1996 comedy, Billy Madison. I'm drunk right now. But I'm pretty sure the Billy Madison thing can't be enforced by law. If so, I may have to request a recess to make some phone calls. Counselor, you have the floor. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge. Uh, Your Honor, I call Leonard Berry to the stand. Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. I just called a witness. Objection sustained. I don't trust anyone named Leonard. Thank you. Mr. Stanislavski either has complete and utter disregard for the law, is f***ing stupid, or he's a drug addict. That is absolutely ridiculous. My client could pass a drug test right now if he wanted to. But more than likely, he's just f***ing stupid. 
Your Honor, I motion for a full psychological evaluation of my client before we move any further in the proceedings. Motion denied. And so is your invitation to the Christmas party this year. What? What did I say? How do you know he won't do it again? Uh, Greg, he said he saw we. I mean, what, what else do you want from the guy? His f***ing arrest record? Uh, to prove Mr. Stanislavski's poor decision-making in regards to his driving, we've actually obtained his arrest record here. Oh, great. Someone get him a cookie. Big deal. This proves nothing. Um, counselor, most of these arrests have to deal with traffic violations. F***. Order, order, order. Counselor, that is enough cursing in my courtroom. One more outburst like that, and I'll hold you in contempt. Watch it! Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you have a charge of aggravated assault in New Hampshire. Is that correct? That's completely false. Okay, I said correct me if I'm wrong. Your Honor, I rest my case. What? The defense is tired. This case is taking forever. Well, that's true. All in favor of a 15-minute recess, say aye. We've been here for 10 minutes. Aye. 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 Now, did you mean it? Of course not. Do you promise not to do it again? Yes. Probably. No further questions, Your Honor. Your witness, Counselor? Mr. Stanislavski. Your Honor, I advise my client to not respond to anything Mr. Fillmore has to say on the grounds that what he may say may be used to incriminate him. Yeah. It's too late for that, Mr. Teller. Fine, Mom! Can the court stenographer repeat the last sentence that was said back to me? Can the court stenographer repeat the last sentence that was said back to me? Thank you. If aliens were to crash land in our area, and the only way you could save Earth would be to let one of the aliens live in your house with you for six months to a year, similar to Alf, and that alien fell in love with your dog and wanted to marry it, would you walk your dog down the aisle with or without a leash? Objection, Your Honor. What purpose is this serving? It's part of the defense theory, Your Honor. I don't see how that's remotely possible, but please, continue. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, without the leash, I guess. Cool. Okay, no further questions. Spell Dan Aykroyd right now. Damn it! I can't. Objection, Your Honor. That question is virtually impossible to answer. Your Honor, Mr. Teller has several unregistered firearms at his home. I've seen them. Oh, will you grow up? An AR-15 has never hurt anybody. Really? Oh my god. <clears throat> Your Honor, can I approach the bench? I don't know. Can you? May I? May I approach the bench? Yes, you may. Can you please just declare a mistrial? I couldn't find a bathroom during the recess, and I am this close to unloading in front of all of these people on all fours. Counselor, there's no way it's that bad. Your Honor, you honestly might think differently of me once this is over. I assure you, my opinion of you can't go any lower than what it already is. Well, sir, I apologize in advance. No, 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 wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Now, as you can see, that, uh, fits. Your Honor, with all due respect, Mr. Stanislavski is a Sagittarius. It's in his blood. <laughs> Spoken like a true Capricorn. You son of a bitch. I-R-A, I-R-S. Coincidence? I think not. Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. Counselor, why are you shouting everything you object to? Did, did, did this man f*** your wife? No, Your Honor. Then stop yelling in my courtroom. Yeah, uh, yes, Chef. Sorry, uh, uh, Dad. Judge. Sorry, Judge. Your Honor. It won't happen again. 
That's all right. Now, that's 20 lashings. Bailiff. Dude, are, you, are you kidding me? Is that, is that legal? I don't even know if, what? It seems unnecessary. It seems unnecessary. Guys. Mr. Star, are you being coy? Coy? I don't even know the meaning of the word. Ah, yes. Well, I suppose I was being coy. You know, I actually wanted to be a painter. Yeah, you told me. Your Honor, there's not even coffee in his thermos. It's just breast milk. Objection, Your Honor. How does he know that? Isn't it all breast milk? Mr. Stanislavski, did you have sexual relations with that woman? Objection, Your Honor. I'll rephrase. Mr. Stanislavski, did you take that woman to Pound Town to eat at the all-you-can-f*** buffet? Nice. Yes. How was it? Fantastic. Can you repeat that, Mr. Stanislavski? It was fantastic. Excellent. Now, just to give the jury an idea of what happened that night, uh, we do have security cam footage of the event in question, uh, so we're going to show that. Uh, please take a lot of notes, because the next three and a half hours or so will take a lot out of you. Uh, but first, I'm going to reenact the scene with juror number 69. Juror number 69, can you come over here, please? Did you know before this, I want to be a painter? You've told me this before. Listen, we can all agree that what happened was wrong. But we have to think, society is at fault here. What we have over here is a hard-working Polish-American immigrant that is just trying to do right by his family, his country. This man is a fighter, and he will continue to fight in pursuit of the American dream. You aren't just jurors today, no. You are the physical representation of the kingdom of heaven. Is Rutger Stanislavski a good man? Is he an honest man? Is he not the type of person that this country was founded on? Look, you may not agree with all his methods, but one thing we can agree on is that he is not only misunderstood, but he's just a man trying to make a living. Well, if that's wrong, then lock me up and throw away the key. So he, he hates racism, just, just so you guys know. He hates it. All right. Thank you. Hmm. Actually? <laughs> uh, actually, I'm indifferent. I, I just, just. That was a, a very passionate speech, Counselor, but uh, your client is on trial today for the obscene amount of parking tickets he has amassed over the years. This has nothing to do with immigration or the American dream, for that matter. Despite Mr. Fillmore practically handing this case to you on a silver platter after legitimately sh on the floor at one point, your incoherent rambling has somehow managed to even things out. Bravo, Mr. Tolo. Bravo. I have never seen anything like this in all my years of being a judge. So, considering the facts that have been brought by both counsel and after careful deliberation, I find Rutger Stanislavski guilty as charged. I'll see you all in hell. God damn it. So what are you what are you doing after this?
find a wheel And it goes round, round, round As it skims along With the happy sound As it goes along the ground, ground, ground Till it leads you to the one you love Isn't it all breast milk? <laughs> Look, I don't even really... <sighs> Mother... Okay. <laughs> Get off me! I'm, sorry, man. I'm a hard-working Polishman! Get off me! Hard-working my ass. If you're hard-working, you're gonna pay your god for parking tickets. Then it wasn't my fault. I was framed. By who? Find the ring and put it round, 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 and with ties so strong, the two hearts are bound. Put it on.